Hi guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, I'll be showing you how to purchase and claim EOS tokens using your Ethereum wallet. So let's get started. I'm going to be using the Parity Ethereum wallet, but the process is very similar if you have uh, the GEF wallet, the Ethereum Mist wallet, or if you're using uh, the myeforwallet.com uh, website. The process will be very similar. So we need to open up our wallet application first of all. Like I say, I'm using a Parity, and then I'm also going to select the wallet that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using this wallet here. So now purchasing the EOS tokens. So there's two parts of it. First of all, we want to send a Ethereum transaction to the EOS contract. And then following up from that, we want to claim our tokens back from the EOS contract. So the official website is EOS.io. If we click on tokens, and then if we get EOS, there'll be some checkboxes that we need to confirm. You guys will want to read through each of them in turn properly and um, decide whether it's appropriate for you. So then what we're gonna need is the EOS contract address. If I uh, scroll down. So this is the EOS contract address here. So I'm just gonna copy that. So select it and copy, or you can, in this case, you can click it and uh, copy to your clipboard. So I've already done that. So just to confirm it ends in F7CCF. So now we're gonna to go to the next tab. So this second one isn't official, uh, isn't a official EOS website, but it's um, useful to give you a good indicator of exactly what you're buying. So every single day, um, for a total of a year, EOS has a um, auction on a daily basis. So here you can see all the previous days as they're running, and we're currently on period 128 or day 128. So let me just scroll down. So yesterday you could see that a total of 4,266 Ethereum was contributed to the EOS platform, and that gave each person that for a single Ethereum, you got 468.76. So that's the, the previous day is quite a good indicator going forward of the kind of the rate that you're buying at uh, in the future. So roughly that works out on the previous days, 65 cents, 67 cents and 59 cents there. So today we'll probably be buying at a, probably a, a similar kind of rate um, to this. So you can see at the moment how much is currently sort of uh, pledged and what the current amount is, but obviously that will increase throughout the day. Like I say, it's worked on an auction process. So going back to our wallet, we've already selected our account. So just, sorry, just go to the accounts there. This is the account that I'm gonna be using to send the Ethereum to the EOS contract. So what we want to do is, it's just like sending a regular um, Ethereum transaction. So we click on transfer. And then the recipient address is the EOS contract address. So we just pasted that there, just confirm the digits, make sure it's right, so it ends in CCF. The amount of Ethereum that we want to transfer, so I'm just gonna do one tenth of an Ethereum, and you've got the transaction amount there, and then we click on send. So here it just confirms we're sending it from this address, this amount, and to this address. It should automatically work out the gas for you, but if not, you can also edit and change it. Um, this should be um, a good amount of gas for us to use. It will relay the transaction quite quickly with no bother at all. So then we just need to enter our password. And once the password has been entered, we can confirm the request. So the transaction will be relayed and in return, we can then claim our EOS tokens. So like I said, it works on a daily basis. So each day there is a new auction. So we're sending the transactions uh, the Ethereum tokens to the transaction on, on for period 128, but we won't be able to claim these until the auction is finished and we won't be able to claim these until the next day. So what I'll show you now is how to claim um, the uh, tokens once the, once the basically that, that day is finished up and you can claim them the next day. So we go back to our Parity wallet and then we will want to go to contracts and we're gonna watch the contract and this is a custom contract, so we click on custom contract and we click on next. Then you want to add the address for the custom contract, so it's the same as the one that you sent the funds to. And then we just put a name so we know which one it is. There's also an expanded description, you're not really gonna need that. 
And then you've got this part here, which is the ABI for the contract. So if we go back to the EOS.io, if we uh, scroll up a little bit, there was a, maybe it's down a little bit, sorry. Uh, they moved it. Oh, sorry, it's here. Uh, claim. And then you want to copy this ABI JSON interface. So we just want to copy that. So that's been, uh, and just, just double check, uh, Control and C to copy it. Now if we go back to our wallet and we can paste it, paste that in here. And then we want to add the contract. So now you can see that contract, the EOS contract has been added to our contracts tab. And from here you can interact with it. So in order to claim your tokens, like I say, you need to wait at least a day before you can claim your tokens. You select the contract, the EOS contract, and then you want to click on execute. So in the uh, the Ethereum Mist wallet or my Ether wallet, the process will be similar, but might have slightly different wording. So we want to execute. And it's going to say from account, what account, your own account do you want to execute from? So we're going to select this account, which is the, the account that you use to purchase the token. So make sure it's the one that you send the funds out is the one you're going to be executing back on a contract. And the next box is the function to call on the contract. We want to use the claim all function. So this function will claim any EOS tokens regardless of the day. You can also claim for specific days, but this is probably the easiest way for you to use. Like I say, just use the claim all function. Then we want to post the transaction. So it's kind of similar to sending funds out. So it will cost you a little bit of Ethereum to claim your tokens. Enter our password and we want to confirm the request that you see here. It's going to cost us 0.004 Ethereum to claim and we want to confirm the request again. So that sends the second transaction to the network, which is the claiming transaction. So they will be processed. And then when we check back on our accounts, if we give it say 10 minutes or less, uh, the EOS tokens will be updated. Um, and then basically from that point onwards, you can then interact with your EOS tokens. You can send them to an exchange, etc., or keep them safe, do as you wish with them. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching. It was just a quick one. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe. I upload videos like this on a regular basis. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.